Number five, the sum, two to infinity, of one over natural log of n raised to the nth power. Now note, this n here is on the outside of the function, so I can't use the exponent rule for logarithms, which lets me bring it down in front. Instead, we'll note that this is an expression raised to the nth power, and that suggests that I use the root test. So to use the root test, we start with this gadget here. Take the limit of n going to infinity, the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n. We're gonna stick our a sub n into here. That gives me this. And you'll note the nth root and the n to a power are gonna cancel each other out, just leaving me with limit n going to infinity of one over absolute value of natural log of n. We don't need to worry about the absolute value signs. We look at the graph of natural log, at one, it's gonna be zero, and then when we go past one, it's just gonna keep increasing, going off to infinity. So this is gonna be positive as soon as I get past one. Since we're starting at two, not a problem. We won't need the absolute value signs. Okay, also, like I just noted, if I take the limit as n goes to infinity, natural log goes off to infinity, so this term here is gonna get driven down to zero, so our limit is gonna be equal to zero. The root test says this limit is strictly less than one, then the series is gonna converge. So this is a convergent series. Number six, let's try one minus a quarter minus a ninth plus a 16th minus a 25th minus a 36th plus a 49th and so on. So our series here is just gonna be, take your squares, flip them over and then we're gonna have a pattern for the signs that looks like plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, minus, and so on. If we look at this, we'll note that if we got rid of all those minus signs, we'd have a convergent series. That would be the series for sum one to infinity of one over n squared, and that's a p series with p equal to two. Since two is bigger than one, this is gonna converge. Okay, well, what we've just done is just set up the series for the absolute value of a sub n. That's what throwing away the signs does. So this is the condition for the absolute convergence test. If I have a series, if I take the absolute value of each term, I take the series for that, the absolute value series converges, then the original series had to converge. So that's gonna mean this series here, is gonna converge by the absolute convergence test. Number seven, for the sum going from one to infinity, n to the fifth plus two n squared plus seven over n cubed plus three n plus four. So we sit back and squint a little bit. We'll notice that the lead terms here are gonna make this look pretty much like n to the fifth over n cubed. So what we'll wanna do is, we're gonna use the limit comparison test with bn equal to n fifth over n cubed, which is n squared. Okay, also note, for the limit comparison test, we'll need our an and our bn always positive, and that's gonna be the case here. Let's take a look. So, we're gonna take our limit and go into infinity of an over bn. What we want here is, we get a limit that's a number that's non-zero and not infinite, then these series are either gonna both converge or both diverge together. So let's see what happens. So when I do my limit, we're gonna take our a n, and then we're gonna divide by b n, which is the same as dividing by n squared. So that's gonna give me a fifth order polynomial over another fifth order polynomial, okay, over here. So we wanna clean that up by dividing top and bottom by n to the fifth. Same as multiplying by one over n to the fifth on the top and the bottom. So I do that, then what's gonna happen is we're gonna have a one plus things over powers of n on the top and bottom, when I take the limit of n going to infinity, these terms with the n's in the bottom will go to zero, and so I'll be left with one over one, which is one, which is not zero, and it's not infinite, so limit comparison test is going to apply here. So all I need to do now is check the convergence or divergence of b to the n. Okay, we know that this is gonna diverge. Why? If I take the limit as n goes to infinity of n squared, that's gonna be equal to plus infinity. Okay, that's just taking a look at the graph at x squared. That's not zero, so there's no way that I can have the series 
for n squared to converge. If I have any convergence series, its limit has to go to zero. Since that's not happening here, sum n squared diverges. Okay, so they either both converge or diverge together. So limit comparison test says our original series is gonna diverge. Number eight, going from one to infinity, three times e minus two raised to the nth power. Okay, so this is definitely gonna be a geometric se series. Let's write out the first few terms. So I'll have, we're starting at one, so it's gonna just be three e minus two. I put a two in, I'm gonna have three e minus two squared, and so on. So what I'll do is I'll factor out this first term, three e minus two, so that I get a one here. That's gonna tell me that my r is gonna be equal to e minus two, so now I can go over to my geometric series test and see what's going on. All right, we have our a, our absolute value of r is equal to absolute value of e minus two. So the idea here is, although we have e in the problem, you shouldn't be thrown off by it. e is just roughly 2.73, so we'll use it like that. So e minus two is gonna be roughly 0.73, strictly less than one. So the geometric series test says we have a convergent series. So convergent. 